Welcome and Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today we are going to make something very, very interesting. Halwa. Uh, halwa in Zanzibar, it originates from Sultanate of Oman. And uh, after reading a lot of blogs and watching documentaries and reading, I wanted to know how to prepare the halwa, like how it's done in the factories in Oman. So this is my version today. Okay, so here I have some water with a tea bag. And I also have some nutmeg that goes in it, ground nutmeg. And I also have, I'm going to add uh, ground cardamom, just half of it. I'm going to reserve the rest for later. So just mixing it with my saffron. And I also, I just want to clear this area. And uh, my sugar, I'm just going to mix both the brown and the white sugar together. And my toasted cinnamon, I mean sesame seeds. You don't have to use them if you don't want. I have a mixture of oil and ghee here. You can use ghee alone or you can use oil alone. But if you're using oil alone, you may need to cut down on the quantity. Okay, I have some rose water as well. And um, I'm going to soak my saffron, just half of it. Okay. And then let's keep it aside. I've got some water here for my starch. And I have two kinds of starch. I have the corn starch. And I also have the tapioca starch. Both of these will give you the same taste if you're using the same recipe, but the texture of the end product will be different. Okay, so I want to share with you something here where my sister in law has been uh, experimenting. This is a halwa that's made with the white sugar, and this is with the light brown sugar, and this is um, with the dark brown sugar, dark brown sugar. This one and this one with the uh, white and brown. Okay, but she did not add the tea, so the color is uh, original. Okay, now they all have the same texture and they taste more or less the same. Okay, so if you planned to use the cornstarch, okay, you're gonna get this kind of a texture which is a kind of solid, okay, soft solid. Okay, if you want to use tapioca which is what I'm looking for, gooey and kind of the halwa that you can pull. Okay, so over here I've got my starch. I'm using the tapioca starch. Yep, and uh, well, mixed it with my water. And uh, you just want to, um, what do you say? You know, just uh, mix it, combine it, make sure there are no lumps. And um, we're going to keep it aside. And then over here, I have my tea. You can use two tea bags if you want to that bit stronger, a little bit bitterness, text, taste, taste in your halwa. And if you're using uh, tea leaves, you may need to strain this before you add the rest of your ingredients. So I'm adding my sugar here. And my rose water and saffron. Okay. And then after that, we're just going to bring it to a boil on high for about five to seven minutes. Okay, you just want the, all the moisture to go out and you want the sugar to dissolve. <clears throat> and after that, bring it to a medium low and uh, add your slurry, which is a starch. And you want to uh, stir this for about 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. So if you're bored and impatient as I, I did, you want to have some music and also keep a timer, okay? And uh, this is kind of boiling, but you can't tell much because you're stirring. So after, in between this, I'm going to add my, um, <clears throat> uh, the rest of my ground cardamom and, um, and saffron. It makes a lot of difference when you cook with it and when you add to it later. That's why I divided mine into two portions. And uh, this is after the first 10 minutes. So I still got 10 more minutes and it's kind of thin. So you may need to add one more tablespoon of starch. Okay, then goes in, there goes in my toasted sesame seeds. If you don't want, you don't have to. And you can um, also add whatever nuts that you want, but make sure the nuts are, what do you call, they're toasted or roasted. You don't want anything that has the moisture to it. You know, they're completely dry. Yeah, I was saying it's a little bit thin because I added a bit too much of rose water. 
I think my calculation was wrong. It should have been two teaspoons instead of two tablespoons, but it smells amazing. I think I'll just stick to it and add one more tablespoon of the starch to make my halwa a bit thicker. Okay. And uh, so you're going to stir this for 20 minutes. And after that, we're going to start adding the, um, the ghee or the oil, whatever you prefer to use or a mix of both. And you're going to stir this and, um, you know, make sure it's well incorporated before you add the next uh, spoon, okay? Or a tablespoon or whatever tool that you use, measuring tool that you use. And uh, this is going to take another 20 minutes. You're just going to keep stirring and adding your fat to it, okay? And once that's done, you're going to... When you finish the ghee, then you're going to stir it for further 10 more minutes. Okay, so that's about 15 minutes over here, people. And this is very beautiful, sweet, and people, this is very, very, what do I say, rich. You don't want to make a meal out of this. Just a tablespoon is more than enough. And this stays for a long time. Now, now you see, um, we are almost done. And when you stir, it pulls. You see how it is? And this is just ready. Okay, and um, you see how nice it is. Okay, so I've just decided to pour this in my pie plate or pie, whatever dish. You can use any container you want. And you want to let it cool. And it smells so good. I just can't tell you how good this smells. Okay, and uh, you can decorate it the way. However you like it. I've got few almonds. Let me see how far I can go with them. And you can just present it the way you want. It's okay. And halwa is usually served, used to be served in special occasions on Eid. A wedding is a must. A wedding has to have a halwa. So, and I'm so excited about this because I've been waiting to do this for a long, long time. And uh, I'm just excited. Okay, so what else can I say? <laughs> All right, and um, yeah, you can decorate it with any kind of nuts, pistachios, cashew nuts, or peanuts, I guess. And I decided to also sprinkle some toasted sesame seeds since I have them and I don't have enough of other nuts. Well, thank you so much. Whoops, I'm not done. Okay, so you let it cool, and uh, I just wanted to show you, it's still jiggly, that's how you want it to be. I mean, that's how you get it when you're using the tapioca, and you see how it is, it pulls, it's so nice, okay, and uh, if you're using oil, you may need to strain the oil, okay, the oil does not absorb a lot into the halwa. So thank you so much for more recipes, please visit me at Aromo Zanzibar.